Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Today, it's time to launch an assault on the floating continent and put a stop to Gestal and Kefka once and for all and save the world. But first, let's take a quick look at my setup. This is the party I want to be using. We've got Cyan, Terra, and Sterego. Cyan will be using the dual Tempest Katana setup, as we've already seen. Strago, also with dual wielding there, this time with Thunder Rods and a Hero Ring. And Terra, pretty much the same, magic boosting equipment all around, and double earrings. Terra and Strago should both have Gaia Gears equipped. And Cyan would, if he could wear them. Now one thing I did off screen was, I did a little bit of level grinding, like I mentioned, but only up to level 30, which is where I normally am for this point in the game, so I'm not over leveled or anything like that. And if you want to see how I did it, just watch my channel update video, and you will get to see me do my off screen grinding as I give updates and announcements about my channel. And basically what I did was, increase everyone's magic stat using Zone Seek, and that's pretty much it. Um, I got Strago to 30, Terra to 30, Mog, Realm, and Celis there. Oh, and Sabin as well. I, I wanted to boost his magic a little bit higher than what it was. Also at level 30, he gets the Almighty Airblade Blitz, which I'll be showing off soon enough. Now the reason I want to pick this party is because... Edgar, Celis, Sabin, even Setzer will be getting a lot of screen time here pretty soon. So I wanted to bring people that won't be. The Imperial Air Force. Why Woolsey felt the need to abbreviate that, I'll never know. It's not like the game ever refers to the Air Force in the future, and the abbreviation would make it more convenient. Because they don't. This is the only time in the game that the Air Force is seen mentioned, whatever. Now anyways, we have these guys to deal with. They are very weak to lightning, which is why I have Thunder Rods on Strago, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, Realm would also be pretty good here because she too can use Thunder Rods and again, she love. By the way, make sure everyone's in the front row, except for Terra. Wind Slash is especially useful here because even though we're in a pincer attack, Cyan will be able to hit enemies on both sides. The same goes with Gaw or Mog if you wanted to bring those guys. Yeah, very nice, Cyan. This is a cool little sequence, though. I like it. It's not very often we get to have, well, airship battles against other airships. Speaking of which, why does the Empire even have an Air Force? I mean, I thought Setzer was the only one in the world that had an, air, an airship. I suppose for, like, maybe defensive purposes, having an air military would be useful. Or offensive, for that matter. Being able to attack other territories from the sky without any opposition could come in handy as well. And again, maybe I'm just thinking about this too much. I gotta stop doing that with Final Fantasy games. Oh my gosh. But yeah, these guys, pretty standard. Nothing too special about them. They are susceptible to mute if you want to silence them. It'll prevent some damage from coming your way. Although, I'd rather just outright kill them. They're pretty easy. They don't have a lot of HP. Oh, I think that's the best method here. Uh-oh. Something curious. Is our airship on fire? That can't be good. By the way, if it wasn't obvious, you can't go below deck of the airship during this little event here. That would be nice, though, to just get a free heal whenever you want to. <laughs> like, hang on, guys. One second, one second. I'll be right back. Drago's doing more damage than Cyan. That's sad. I do want to heal up, though. I like this party setup. It's different. We have a samurai, a blue mage, and a sorceress. Not the traditional Final Fantasy... Wait, whoa. What's that pink thing there? 
I've never seen that demon before. But anyways, it's not your traditional RPG setup. Usually you have, like, a healer, a wizard, a knight of some kind, and then either, like, a thief or a, a monk. Also, you do not want to bring Celis with you. And I will go over that probably at the end of this video, or maybe in the next video, we'll see. But bringing Celis with you is actually a bad idea. What's he doing? What the? It's Ultros! Oh, well, you know what that means, guys. We have a boss coming up. So what I want to do is get Phantom to Strago. Have Terra make sure we're all topped off and in good shape. And... Let's see. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. For boss time against Ultros himself. How an octopus is floating, I don't know. Okay, first things first. We want to cast Phantom with Strago. And now Ultros, he can't do anything to us. So, yeah, we're invincible. Hooray for Abusive Espers! Now, as always, you want to use your best Lightning Magic and Fire Magic, although in this instance, Poison does pretty good damage as well. So let's see what a Fire 2 spell from a Morph Terra can do now that we got her magic power a little higher. Whoa! It's over 9,000! Man, one hit KO. <laughs> okay, now when he summons his little buddy here, Funga. Yeah, I got a Funga for you. He is susceptible to silence as well, so what you want to do is hit him with mute, and he can't cast spells. And yeah, that, that'll maintain our invincibility here. Hooray for abusive battle mechanics. Now, Chupon in the back there is weak to ice. Man, Terra, you're just a beast. <laughs> what the? And we have more boss time in mid-air. All right. Now these guys are also weak to lightning, and they are also weak to water. Now basically, all you want to do here is go for the body of this airship, and when that dies, the whole thing dies. Very simple. Fortunately, we can't achieve perfect immunity like in the previous quote-unquote boss fight, but this guy goes down quickly all the same. Terra's still with 5k, even without more. That's not bad at all. And there we go. Hooray! Yeah, I know. That was pretty cheap. I told you guys, bosses in this game are going to be easy. <laughs> hey, we get his arena ring. Alright, that'll protect us against a couple status effects. And of course, we don't land anywhere near Gestal or Kefka. Absolutely. But this place is one of my favorite dungeons. It's got pretty cool music. You can see the world beneath us moving as we move, and the clouds moving for that matter. Before we go any further, we want to heal up, just in case. And let's give his magic boosting Esper back. I actually want to get Mado into Terra there. Okay. And let's go talk to Shadow. Hey, buddy. <laughs> the irony. Oh, the generic dialogue is back. Awesome. Yeah, you're one of us. Alright, now we get Shadow back. Yes. Got 
Gaia gear essential on Shadow. Everything else, eh, not so much. Alright, from Esper's go, I actually want to give him Zone Seek. Um, he's level 27. I want to keep Zone Seek on him until he gets level 30. That'll boost his magic stat enough for what I want to... what I prefer. Now, for Relics, I want to give him the Running Shoes for Auto Haste. Give you some earrings instead of the hero ring. And the guided gear as well. Thank you, game. And the hero ring will go to Shadow. That'll increase the damage of his elemental scrolls and his shurikens. And now we're going to want some spring shoes on Terra. Okay, so, first things first. Let's use a tent and save. Now the very interesting thing about the Chupon and Ultros battle... By the way, Chupon is also known as Typhon in later translations. Um, in Final Fantasy XIII-2, one of the DLC Colosseum battles is a battle against Chupon and Ultros. And that's a huge slap in the face from Square Enix. Um, because hundreds of thousands no, maybe even millions of fans have been asking for an HD remake of this game for the last 20 years. And Square Enix keeps saying, no, it's not going to happen. It's too much work. It won't make any money. We have other projects in mind, etc. And what do they do? In a game that is rendered fully in HD, they make a Colosseum battle featuring two of the bosses from Final Fantasy VI. And it looks amazing. Oh, this could be bad. Uh, let's see, for this get shuriken on those guys. Let's try to petrify the dragon. Yeah, that's that hurt. But yeah, Chupon, or Typhon rather, and Ultros, they look really good on the PS3 version of that boss battle. So, not only did Square Enix prove that they could do it, but they proved that it would look amazing. The only fault I found in that whole thing was the voice actor they picked uh, for Ultros. It was a little sketch. <laughs> but anyways, uh, lots of new enemies here. I tried to petrify him because, at least in the Game Boy Advance version, they are susceptible to break. However, it missed. Oh well. Yeah, ninjas can be very deadly, as you saw their water scrolls. It's actually the most powerful water attack in the entire game, which makes that Rage for Gaw very nice. Now these little blue orbs here are treasure boxes, and in this one we get a Marasame Katana for Cyan. Now one of the gimmicks for this dungeon is, well you got a lot of hidden passages, and when it looks like you've reached a dead end and you have nowhere to go, just hug the wall, and the path will open for you. I advise you not to lick the walls, they do not taste like candy. Just hug them, show them you care a little bit, and the way will open for you. Now before we go any further, I want to get Phantom to Strago. And hopefully get it. Okay, this works. Oh no, not again. I was hoping it wouldn't be against ninjas. Very quick with this. I want to cast Phantom at the end of the battle, but I don't want to be revealed by a magic attack. Okay, so let's get Phantom going and then quickly kill him. You will see why, viewers. You will see why. I always have a plan, don't I? Alright, good job. Oh, but now I can't heal myself. Oh well. Now, before you open this box, uh, I advise that you have Vanish on everybody. Because it's mini-boss time against the Gigantos. Now, his special move here, Throw Jab, it hits between 7 and 900. And as you see, he gets a lot of attacks. How do you kill this guy quickly? With level 5 Doom, of course. That evil laughter is so perfect. Yeah, that's the best way to take care of him. And for defeating him, 
get a hardened dagger. Not that I care necessarily. It's a little better than the assassin, but he doesn't get the speed or magic power bonus. Okay, now we want to give the magic boost and Esper back to Strago. And okay. Now the other gimmick to this place is you got these little pads here that act as teleporters. So you want to keep an eye out for those. Now, when we come back next time, we'll continue making our way through the floating continent here and see if we can't put a stop to Kefka and Gestalt once and for all. Hey, that rhymed. I'm a poet and didn't know it. Ah, ah, ah. Anyways, guys, hope you have a good day. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.